So I graduated as a nurse in Brazil in 2013. And uh, as soon as I graduated, I started to work as an intensive care nurse for about seven years. At the same time, I was working in the health care system in Brazil. And after seven years work on the system, um, I met my, my current husband that had introduced me about Canada and his wish about to come to Canada and make this, make this country his uh, place to stay. And then uh, for a while, I was thinking about if it was worth it, leave all my career aside and decide entering this journey that I haven't zero expectations. Since I didn't have English yet, I, I didn't spoke English this time. I didn't speak English during this time. And my husband was fluent. So, and then I decided to get a try. And I came to Canada in 2019, in December. And unfortunately, three months after, we had the pandemic that hit us. But at the same time, we have the challenge of the pandemic. And here was a good opportunity for myself to enter the health system with the high demand of internationally, no internationally, but the high demand of health worker professionals. And I started my journey here, work as a caregiver, was a personal support worker. Uh, I worked on the community for about three years. And from that experience, I could get my, my permanent residence in Canada. And after that, I was a bit more confident um, about being uh, English speaker, uh, because during for during long time, I I wasn't sure if I would be able to speak English. So during this time, I said, "Oh, I may I may can try." So I start um, I start working more in my English skills. So and for about six months, I applied for a job post in the hospital. And I could get, I got my first job at the hospital as a hospital assistant on the transportation department. And I stayed in this, um, in this professional for about a year. And I was always looking for internal posts to see if I could navigate better and I could use my nursing skills during this time. And I, I had the opportunity to work at the same time because things Things come up for me almost at the same time during my journey, and I try to not lose any opportunity. So I start to work as a sleep tech in a private clinic that I got some skills about neurophysiology, and I learned uh, the way we have to place the electrodes to perform electroencephalogram in patients. I get very interested in this field, and I start to look in, in the hospital positions that could uh, fit me in. So um, during this time, I started looking for the, those job postings and I could get a job as a neurophysiology technologist. Um, since I had just this few experience, but they realized that I was a high skilled professional because I had my nursing background. I guess this was the reason that I got hired. So I passed for a time um, going a training. And then... Um, uh, nowadays, it passed one year since that. Um, I am feeling very well in this position. I can't find myself in a field that I wouldn't believe could fit me in. Uh, I'm in passion, in, in passion with a neurophysiology and neuroscience field. And now I start doing a validation process because for a time I wasn't thinking this would be a path possible for me. And as I always said for N4 and for all the leaders that I have met when I have done the course, is that like doing this course was kind of showing me that I could be a nurse again in Canada and I could, um, you know, try get my, my credentials validated in here and I could have a tried. So... Um, what I'm trying to say is that there is no there is no time for you to start to believe in yourself. There is no time for you to uh, learn a new language. And there is no time for you to try again, be the professional that you were in your original place. So uh, the most 
important skill is resilience. Uh, we have to be very resilient during our journey in Canada. First of all, because we have to cope with so many steps before the validation process process for many people. Some people do at the same time, but in my case, I I start to work in my in my validation process after I immigrate to Canada for financial reasons for. Uh, even for build my self-esteem that I could get this done. But I guess resilience is the skill that we have to build and we build doing every day. Nobody born with resilience. It's the way that you behave when obstacles come, right? So since when we start our journey in Canada, we have to cope with immigration process. We have to cope with learning a new language because sometimes we still establish and we still work on most of our skills when we came here. And also we have to understand how the health system works. So you have to be resilient to understand that things is going to get time to be done and it's going to require you patience and resilience. There is no other way for you can get uh, what you dream for your life in here in this country. I guess it saved time. And because when we start our journey here in Canada and you try to understand how the system will work, how the health system will work, how the government uh, process will work and what is necessary to live in here and to settle here, all those steps there are spread, uh, we, we didn't have any place that we can find everything together. So I guess uh, one of the huge benefits that the resource that are available at N4 and now the N4 initiative, it's put all those steps together and make um, the newcomer life easier. That way you can speed your process. That way you can save time. That way you can connect with people that are overcoming the same challenge that you are and you don't feel that alone in the process. So I guess uh, this is uh, the best gift that any four it's giving to all newcomers to show the world the way we see it. Because um, when we came, the world is not the way we see it. It's the way Canada works. And it's the first time that I saw one, one initiative that show us the way we see the system.